I'm actually kind of quiet off stage. A lot of people don't realize that. I was at a dinner party recently. A bunch of people that I don't know. One guy talking plenty for everybody. Me, myself, right, and then I, and then myself, right, me, me. I couldn't tell this one about I because I was talking about myself, and then me, 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 me. Beware the me monster. So I tried to jump in with a little story. I don't want to just sit there the whole night. Right when I'm done with my story, this guy goes, that ain't nothing. <laughs> oh, well, didn't mean to waste everybody's time. <laughs> Telling my nothing story. Here, let Marco Polo speak. He's back with tales of adventure. My story ain't nothing. Maybe it wasn't, because I made the mistake of trying to tell a story about having only two wisdom teeth pulled, and I learned a lesson. Don't ever try to tell a two wisdom tooth story, because you ain't going nowhere. Before wisdom teeth people are going to parachute in and cut you off at the pass. Halt! Halt with your two wisdom tooth tail! You will never complete one, trust me. I'm trying to tell my story. You know, I had some wisdom teeth pulled. I had, um... I had two, but I had four pulled. Oh, okay. No, five, no, nine. I had nine wisdom teeth pulled. All of mine were impacted. They were all coming upside down. The roots were wrapped around my tongue, coming out my nose. They were tusks. I was a warthog. No anesthesia. They pulled them out with pliers. I was eating corn in the cob that afternoon. Pin the blue ribbon upon his chest. That knocks the socks off of my wisdom tooth tail. Why do people need to top other people? I've never understood it, and I see it all the time. Obviously, people get something out of it. At best, people wait for your lips to stop. Yeah, as soon as... Okay, yeah, you, me! You, me! You see the difference? You see, you see that? Now I do. What is it about the human condition people get something out of that? That's why I have a social fantasy. I wish I was one of the 12 astronauts who have been on our moon. They must love knowing they can beat anybody's story whenever they want. They can sit back quietly at a dinner party while some other person, some me monster's doing his thing and let him go. Let him run with the line while you be quiet. Oh, really? <laughs> let him have his moment. Yeah, I'm a big traveler. I have my business all. I got my own global enterprise. I got to check on, you know, driving in the Autobahn because I keep a fleet of sports cars over in Zurich and I get a Swiss account that I want to check it. Mount Kilimanjaro expedition might have to cancel that. You know, runways in Aspen are a lot shorter the first time you go in there. You know, you know, you know that Pacific Rim company are going to try to take that over. And blah, 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 blah. Global enterprise. <laughs> I walked on the moon. <laughs> oh, well, you have the floor, moonwalker. <laughs> you know, you mentioned driving on the Autobahn. That reminded me. Once I was driving in the Sea of Tranquility. <laughs> in my lunar rover. And I, too, was worried about our speed till I remembered, wait, we're the only ones on the moon. 